For those of you wondering how to add a, uh, a second sheet to your Eagle design and connect the outputs uh, between schematic sheets, I'm going to cover that right now. So I've got this uh, schematic here with um, a header pin right here and some labeled uh, outputs. Uh, this is like an LED driver uh, that we're outputting to a daughter board and I'm going to create a schematic for that daughter board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy my header here since I want to take this one and use it on the other header or the other uh, board. So I'm going to click the anchor here and I'm going to copy it, control C. And then I'm going to right click in this area over here and hit new to create my second schematic. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a frame. Uh, so I'm gonna click add and then you can scroll to uh, frames here. And I'm gonna use like a standard size, like a frame B, so it's 11 by 17. Hit okay. And I'm gonna plop that down right here. Hit escape, and escape. And then I'm gonna paste my header right here so here's my header for my daughter board and what i want to do is uh, connect the net between this schematic and this schematic um, so what i'll do is i'm just going to add uh, the uh, the net lines here just because i like it to look nice um, so I'm going to put one there, uh, one there, 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 and there. Okay. And then to connect them, if you'll notice here, I have these uh, tags here, these names, and that's the name of each net uh, on here. So I'm just going to create names on the other schematic and label them the same. So I'm going to go over back to my neck, my second sheet, click uh, add a name tag, and I'm just going to double click and plop all of these down on here. And then I'm going to type rotate and hit enter. And then I'm going to click each of these and rotate them around just to make it look nice and clean. Hit escape. And now to change the net names, you want to type in name and hit enter. Double click and GND. I'll hit OK and then it's going to ask me if I want to connect uh, this generic N$1, which is a, just automatically assigns a generic uh, name to that net. Uh, so do you want to change it essentially to ground them when I say yes? So what's going on here is it's saying that this is ground and it's referenced to sheet one at 16F. And if I go back to my other sheet, 16 is right up here and then F. So it kind of, it's like a road map. It shows you where that, uh, where it's locating on the other sheet, just so you can locate it and find it. And then on the first sheet, it locates to where this is on the other sheet, where it references to. So it's on sheet two at 5D. And you can see here that I have five and D. So. What I'll do is go through the others. So I've got R out, G out, B out. So I'm going to type in name and then do R dot out. Yep. G dot out and B dot out. And then I want to do plus 5V. Uh, I'm going to type name again. 
So plus 5v. Yep. Okay. And because it looks like garbage, because the name tag has got longer, I'm just going to extend these out by direct clicking and dragging. And that's it. Um, when I... What, I, what I'm doing with this daughter board is I'm applying a uh, micro USB. So what I'll do is I'll just take, I'll just add wires or, you know, net lines to it from here and connect it, you know, connect these out to my USB connector. Um, and then it'll automatically uh, connect that. So... I hope that helps. Uh, you can see where these are referenced and you can see where these are referenced and they've automatically updated as well. And I'm going to drag those out. And if you go over here, say if we want to move this to show that it, it tracks, I'll do a, I'll go over to my group uh, command here, click and drag and select the whole thing, then go over to your uh, move command and then you want to hit the hold the control key and right button click and it, you can drag it all around so I'm gonna drag it over to let's say a1 and we would expect that to update on the first sheet so you see how it's updated to 1a on the first sheet so there you go. That's how you do it. I will make a follow-up video on how you create the uh, board. Thanks.